It's all about abuse, you know, it's like, everything's about abuse, not about responsibility. I can't see how in the majority of relationships could work when it's under that sort of footing, um, where, where, where everyone seems to be a victim. So it's like a competition to see who's a victim, you know. Just a t general trend, which is kind of destroying civilization. Because why would a man and woman get together? It's certainly a bad deal for men, actually, because they're going to land up either in jail or trying to, uh, you know, sort out the challenges of life when you've got somebody who's just neurotic and prone to uh, victim narrative. I, I can't see how it can work. I think. I think what we're witnessing is the destruction of mainstream society and civilization, uh, just for greed, rights, or so on. Responsibilities, nobody really seems to bother about that now. So it seems to be working, my method. Um, some of the crazy things that's going on, um, I was watching a video about electric buses. I mean, that is a national scandal. You know, they're, they're paid vast, well, big money for these things. And they're useless. They don't work. You know, that's a scandal. And they've got the cheek to go on a bit of wood burner. Wood burning stoves. But they can buy, buy these things because uh, 100% uh, zero emissions. Um complete falsehood some you know they should start should start uh, arresting these politicians for what is it mal malfeasance in office or something yeah it's appalling what they're doing the irish government <laughs> so funny i saw this last year she's, she's a little arguing with her. and it's just it's tragic what's happened to people you know, they fought for what they thought they were fighting for freedom, and now look, now look at them. It's like it's, they fell for that shit, sold themselves out, fought the British government, and now they're in hock with the EU. Of course, they got a lot of freebies, didn't they? They got a lot of freebies. Well, that seems that method seems to be working. I used more. 
Uh, fire lighters and I normally do, it was like three bits and I had a couple, some candles in amongst that as well. So, but I have found that kindling that I showed you, so uh, I, I've got some kindling in various boxes and things. I mean, it is a full-time job keeping the fire going, you know, you've got to pick stuff up, you know, cut it, sort it out, process it, store it, stack it. But, you know, life, you know, I'm keeping the house warm, I'm saving money on gas. I think that would be the main barometer of it, but um, how it makes, it, it smells fantastic, it makes the, the room look fantastic. Um, it is amazing. Um, right, so I don't know if it's, is it time to shut the door totally? I mean, I'm trying to learn a bit about log burners, you know, I'm on a log burner page. And uh, so it seems that burning it is rather than smoking it, <laughs> smoking it, I think, is worse for the environment. Burning it clean, and that's why this this fire I've got is a, is a, was new, you know, it's, it's, it's only a month old, so it's the latest technology, and it, it, the same way as what your car would be if you bought an ICE vehicle. It's got the latest emission system in it. Well, this has got that system in it, and that's why it doesn't shut down totally. So an older one, you could smoke it, you know, and it would probably stay in all night. But this, I think there's some burns of everything. Well, I think that's looking good. Um, well, that's looking good. We can shut this now. Yeah. I think that's going. It's going! It's going! How's it going? Has worked out well. That's maybe the way to do it. 
of course, you, you need, like, the ones I bought for Champ and Fleur Estate, the, they seem to fit perfectly in that log burner. Um, whereas some of the bigger stuff that I've made myself is too big to, to light it like that. Uh, so, I don't know if it's ready to turn it down now. Probably could turn it down in a minute. Um, I was thinking about morphing this into a channel update. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm working out ways of dealing with people. It's basically, uh, I've got a new answer that I give to people, which is the same answer to everybody, which is, thanks for your comment, you have a nice day. It's sort of like an American sort of idea. And it, it is, it kind of recognises, I hear you, I see you. Thank you, but it also tells people to fuck off as well, you know, without ignoring them or blocking them. So if it's not overly abusive, if it's just slightly abusive, or it's a nefarious question that I don't see, uh, a solu I don't see it going anywhere because it because I've already built up. They've built up a wall before they've asked me the question. Is really what I'm saying. But at the same time, you sometimes you can get through to people. That has happened in the past. Um, so I had a, um, I had a, a lassie go, uh, claiming that I was a bully because uh, I, you know, I was behind this a car, uh, a pensioner in my car. Well, I don't even know if it is a pensioner. It's just a guess, and uh, they were driving too slowly, and she's accusing me of being a bully, uh, rude, and a bully, and uh, I just. You know, so what you've got to do when you make these videos, you can't react to people's strange understanding of it, you know, emotional reaction. Um, it's them that needs to get a grip, you know. So basically, I'm in a, on a road and there's a car. It's a car. It's not really a person, you know. Um, they're driving too slow and I'm just videoing that and I'm uh, recognising that or reporting it, if you like, or not exactly reporting it, but... I'm videoing, videoing everything that I see and I happen to see that and that's what what it is, you know, so to, and actually to get me to try and make me so that change they're actually bullying me, you know like get a life and all this sort of thing and I don't know whether they know the person, I don't know I might do, but so what so you mustn't be intimidated when you're making videos I mean if you're going to be like that I don't think you should make any videos. You know, I'm I'm not gonna walk right up to somebody and start filming them. You know, I'm just not gonna do that. I don't do that. I film people's faces if they come up to me. Yeah, that's happened. It's happened about five or six times in my film. So I've started filming in earnest. Uh, at first, I didn't want to film people that were having a go at me, and that could be, you know. Somebody try to exert their their authority over a specific area or something. It's happened. Uh, or they'll check up, see what you're doing. You know. So in the few, now what I do, people approach me. I start filming them. So one reason is that's what I do. What second is, you don't know what they're going to do, right? Could attack you or something like that. You know, unless, unless I, I believe somebody's been totally genuine. Like, I was out the other day and I met this lady and I asked her for directions. I'm not going to film her, am I? I mean, that would be rude, wouldn't it? So, point the thing away. You know, um, you can hear the creaks. And, you know, I think if people are going to start dictating to me what I do, as a filmmaker, I think you you know if you if you were to capitulate to them, then that'd be pretty sad, wouldn't it? Really, um, you just can't do it, and you've got to you've got to stand by your moral compass. So you're driving along the road, some old guys or women or whatever are driving too slow, some person's driving too slow. You put it on YouTube. You know the thing is, the, the registration number on your car does not belong to you, right? It belongs to the DVLA. 
Um, so you've got to think of it in terms of those that that is a car. It's not a person. It's a car. It's not a man or a woman. It's a car. And it's got somebody in it. And it's got somebody in it who should be driving better. And I'll tell you 100%, I know why a lot of these cars are driving, driving too slow. It's because they can't fucking see, right? And I'll argue that all day long because I reckon, well, I'm pretty sure about that. That's why, that's why people, a big cause of bad driving, they cannot see, you know? Um, it's a tough call. Nobody wants to see MD, uh, you know, losing their ability to get around all the government does. They're, they're trying that pretty hard, making it difficult. They're making it so you can't go into towns and cities um, with their stupid uh, ULS zones, which don't work. And their 20 miles per hour speed limits do not work. Um, they actually cause pollution and they cause more deaths. That's been proved already. Anyway, right, so, you know, I'm not filming a person or a woman or a, or anything. Um, right, we can turn this down now. I mean, I don't know if this sort of video is uh, probably... I, I think it's good because cause the fire's interesting. Looking at a fire. That's it slowed down a bit. That's lovely, isn't it? So this is the latest wood burner. It's you know got an up to date thing in it that for a clean air. Of course, it all depends what you put in there as well. Of course, um, but you know sometimes you maybe cut corners a little bit, not over overly so. I try and dry everything before I put it in. Uh, that was part of a stump that I found. Yeah. So there you go. So, hmm. It's fairly heating the place up.
So anyway, I think that's enough of that. I think we've seen the fire lighting ex exercise. <coughs> yeah, it's difficult to know when to stop, you know, I mean, you could actually keep, I could keep filming it and you could see it <coughs> as it fizzles out. That'd be a good thing to do, maybe. Just video the whole thing. You know, set it up like that and just video the whole thing and then speed it up. You know, like from start to finish. When it starts and when it actually finishes. That would be pretty interesting. It's amazing how that video there, the length of time it takes, so if I go and look at somewhere, like a roundabout or something, I could do, I could look round a roundabout in the same time it takes just to sit here in the house. Not moving. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The country's engineers turn to new technology to counter Hitler's latest gambit. Faint traces of what they came up with survive to this day. You could film actually anything really. I did think about just filming constantly all day, you know. It would be like. Because as far as I understand YouTube, you can put anything on, at, you know, the length of time. It's just how your your equipment so keeps up, and keeps charged up, or uh, like if you're live. I've never done a live, never. I don't know how that works. What happens if the you know the internet is not that good or something? If you're driving, you might go into a place where the internet's not good. Um, I need maybe we should do a live. You can see it's changing now. The the wood is getting red. I should probably turn it down a bit more actually. But I'd be nearly cutting it off. That'd be it off. I'll just put a bit of air in it. So the, the 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 film the camera's actually getting hot. Some functions disabled by temporary rise in the heat. So I'm going, it's, that's a factor. It is getting hot. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's maybe too close. Um, it's maybe too close to the fire. Right. I don't know if that's actually damaging it. It might be. Um, it's not that close, but it's close enough for it to start damaging it. So. Um, I think um, I think on that note we'll call it um, a success. <laughs> I could zoom it in instead of having it close. <laughs> It actually does this in the car as well, if I've got the heater on the window too much, it's, it, it has shut down in the past. 